Hey guys, it's four minutes past six and we're going to go fossil hunting. Morning guys, we've just got to Speeton, it's ten past seven in the morning. Um, it looks quite empty but it looks amazing. So we've just uh, got down now and we're on the beach. Uh, there's not very many people about, but I don't know if you can see behind me, there's people swimming in the sea. It's absolutely amazing. Wish I could do that. I'd probably freeze though. <laughs> okay, let's find some fossils. So we're just looking now in a, a location at Speeton. Um, the thing with Speeton is it has clay beds. Um, and when they're exposed by the weather, um, you can actually just see the fossils sticking out of the clay and pick them up by your hand. You don't need hammers or anything like that. They're just exposed. Um, I think the clay beds, I think they date back about 100 million years old. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, we'll get some good finds out of them. So as I was mentioning about the uh, clay beds, uh, there's the first little fossil we found. It's the uh, top of a bell knife. Uh, like a squid. So we'll keep that. Right guys, we've uh, just started looking properly and we've probably got the find of the day already. Look at that. That is a vertebrae. Oh, I'm chuffed to bits with that. Absolutely chuffed to bits. That's where it was, just in the side of the cliff. Absolutely made up. <laughs> that is a speed and vertebrae. I'm not quite sure what it is, uh, what, what animal it's from, so reptile. Um, I'll take that back to Harry's fossil room and he can uh, ID it for me. But oh my goodness me. Fantastic. First vertebrae from speed and Made up. There's the top of a bell night. That would have been a, a huge one if it had been complete. You do find them here, which are, are really massive anywhere. Some of the best in England. Um, so one day. We've got another tip of a bell night. a nice colour. Like I say, you do find the whole ones here. Um, in one of my last videos, I had some whole ones. Only small, but really, really impressive. So hopefully you can keep looking. Got a bit of a triple header here, guys. It's the first bell of night. Nice big chunky one. It's only the end of it there. And we've got another two pieces here. I don't think they're the same same one. It would have been nice, could have reattached it, but oh well. There we go. Got another fantastic find here, guys. Another Bellamite, but look at the colour of that one. Not all there, but enough of it to uh, warrant taking it home. Really nice, really, really nice.
Hi guys, just had a little break. Um, the thing with Speeton is um, it's absolutely packed and it's really rich with, with fossils and you don't need to really look because they stand out because of the colour. Um, because of this, the, the, the cliff, it's, it's sort of like a darky colour. A lot of the fossils are, are white with like an orange tint. Um, but you can be stood in a, in a one foot square space and, and you can just find that just, that's just an example. Um, they were just at my feet, all parts of Bellum Nights. You don't have to really look that hard. Um, so, I mean, if you're just starting out fossiling and you want you want to find something, I would definitely recommend coming to Speeton because as I say, it's just it's packed full of fossils. Got some more evidence here, guys. The nice thalamite. Couple more bits. Uh, partial ammonite. As you can see, it's got that speed and colour on it. It's very hard to find full ones because of the erosion uh, the fossils suffer from here. Uh, you do tend to find the full ones, but they're, they're a lot smaller than normal but we'll keep looking just noticed we've got what looks like a nice chunky bellamite One day, I'll pick one up and it'll be all there. <laughs> Fragmacom and all. Speeton is uh, quite famous for shrimps, fossilised shrimps. And you find them in, in tiny nodules, much like these. What I do is I pick these up and I put them in my bag and I take them home and I crack them when I'm at home. Um, a bit more precision than doing it on the beach, really. But what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll make a future video where I'm cracking these open, because I've got quite a lot already now. And hopefully there'll be some shrimp inside. So I'm still um, in the same area I was a few moments ago where I found the nodule, and I just found a couple more. Like I said, I, I take these home, and I crack them, because yeah, it's just better to do it. If there is anything in there, you're not gonna lose it or if any parts fall on the floor and you've cracked it open and you can't find them. So I take those home and I do it. There's another one there as well. Like I say, sometimes I have shrimp inside and Speeton's quite well known for it. So hopefully um, we'll get some shrimp out of these. Notice this here. I think it's only a partial ammonite, but we'll have a look. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's see if there's any more of it. No, it's gone. Just that bit. Bellonite there. Ah, just a small bit. Oh well, on to the next ones. Got another cool find here. It's just part of an ammonite. It's the uh, almost iridescent in places. Getting closer. <laughs> and there's a few little bits. Another nodule that could have a shrimp in it. We'll take those home and crack them. Um, and up here, we've got a partial bellamite, I think. Yep. 
it, it's just so rich with different fossils. Um, I can't recommend it enough. It's a really good place to come and fossil hunt. Right, on to the next ones. Uh, finds have slowed down a bit now, guys. Uh, still looking. We're heading towards where the uh, red clay is. Um, hopefully we'll find something there. I'm just keeping my eye out for um, wood as well, fossilised wood. I found a nice chunk of it last time I was here. Always looks nice, especially if you can clean it up. And the weather's starting to turn though as well. It's, it's starting to chuck it down. But onward we go. End well. I wonder what's had that. So, just seen this really nice piece of driftwood. A lot of people uh, collect this. I'll take it home and I'll clean it up. Um, it looks really nice in the garden or if you're making things out of it, a lot of people use it for crafting. And then just the, you know, another tip of a bell night. The, the finds are drying up now, so I'm going to head towards the red chalk and we'll see what's there before heading off. So as I mentioned about the uh, red chalk, as you can see, uh, this is a little bit of it. There's a bit more further up, but I just thought I'd show you this bit while I were here. Um, I always tend to have a look at things here because sometimes you can get um, bellamites in these. I found some in my last video, but they're quite rare in red chalk and they're a, a nice find. And it's one of the only places in the country uh, you find them here like that. Um, so yeah, if I find any, I'll post. <laughs> Classic uh, British seagull breakfast right there. It's just picked up a piece of fossilised wood. Needs a good clean up though, it's breaking off quite a bit. But where I picked it up from, you can just see this. That's the imprint of where a big ammonite's been. And it's just, it's, obviously it's gone over the years. Uh, there's a bit more of it down there, but no, just a bit late. But that would have been magnificent, one that size around here. I think um, if you come to Speeton, um, and, and you, you're new to fossil collecting, even if, you don't, if you're if you unsure what you're looking for, maybe bring a, a shoebox with you and you could literally fill it um, with some of the rubble just from near the edge of the cliff. It's really rich in micro fossils here. So, I mean, you'll probably, you could find hundreds in just a shoebox worth of, of, the, of the material that you find here. It's, uh, I'll just show you some. It's just so rich with micro fossils. I mean, I've, I've literally just sat down, picked this up, and it's not a micro fossil, but you've got a bellamite there. On the other side, I'm not quite sure what these are. But as I mentioned, it's just, uh, th there's fossils everywhere. It's a brilliant beach to come to if you're first starting out. So, as I mentioned, Speeton's really famous for its shrimp. And they come in little grey nodules, much like this one. Now, I'm not sure if there's a, a shrimp in there, but um, what I'll do is I'll crack these open on a future video I do. But I will, if you stay tuned uh, at the end of this video, I will show you what a, a speed and shrimp looks like. I have got one at home in the collection, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, it's quite a nice one as well. So that's the vertebrae I found cleaned it up a bit. Now, I, I think it's ichthyosaur, uh, given the um, depth of it. But I'll take it to Harry's fossil room and let him ID it properly for me. But yeah, I'm really made up with that. That is the find of the day. And it is my first vertebrae from Speeton.
Right guys, that's uh, pretty much it today. I'll keep looking on the way back to the car, but the uh, fines right now have proper dried up. Uh, it's been a nice day. Um, no small laminites like last time, surprisingly. I must have just missed them. Um, lots of bellamites. Um, but obviously the find of the day is that vertebrae. Um, I'm pretty sure it's an ichthyosaur vertebrae. Um, but I'll take it to Harry's Fossil Room and he can ID it for me. You'll find Harry's Fossil Room on uh, Instagram. There is a link in my description as well on Instagram. Um, but if you've liked what you've seen, uh, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Uh, and we'll be able to bring you uh, more fossil hunts in the near future, hopefully. Thank you. Hi guys, um, as I mentioned in the video, we've got a couple more things to show you. Um, one of them is the vertebrae we found yesterday and the other is a speed and shrimp. So this is the uh, vertebrae we found yesterday at Speeton. Um, it's more than likely the saw given the size, shape um, and location. Harry's fossil room is as ID as it the saw. Um, it's a beautiful white colour, uh, very common to speed them as well. But that was the find of the day yesterday and really made up with that. My first vertebrae from Speeton. And the last thing to show you is this speeding shrimp from the collection. It's a really good one, as you can see. And they are normally in those nodules. They're all different sizes, obviously. Um, but those little grey nodules I was picking up, um, you often find shrimp in those. There we go. That is a speeding shrimp.